citizens of the reject nation, I've got something for you. Oh, nice. Final Destination 4. See, I've been doing a play on words with Final Destination. 4 really offers a lot, Greg. They should have called it Final Destination Forever. For fi Final for. Isn't this one called The Final Destination? Yeah, yeah, it is. Do you think they thought it was going to be The Final Destination? Oh, no. It can never be The Final Destination. I still got to milk it. Because that day. would be sad. And this is not. Because this franchise has been amazing so far. We're really excited for this one. Thank you guys for sticking with us thus far. Here's the good news. We're doing Final Destination 4 today. Here's the decent news. We are going to do 5, but I'm going to be out of town for a minute. So you might have to wait a second for it. What you can do is subscribe and then you'll know when it is there. Also, while you're hitting buttons, like, comment, let everybody know how great my four puns are. Those are all really important things to do. And thank you so much, by the way, to Prepper for editing this video. If you guys want more, then make sure that you get our full length reaction watch along and sync up with us over on Patreon. You guys sync up with your own copy and that's how you do the thing. I finally learned about that too, Greg. So. Yeah, that's great, yeah. You're, 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 I can just tell with how impressed you are with me and I'm so impressed <laughs> with you too, Greg. Mostly because <laughs> Greg and John also cover several shows exclusively over on Patreon with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Are you ready for this? I am for ready. Forever ready for fun for final, for final. two fun to four final destination. Yes. Let's do it. All right. In three, two, one, four. <laughs> so four. She just done one, two, three, four. Yeah, that would have been better. That would have been way better. Yeah. But sometimes ideas come collectively. Yeah, that's true. Oh, what? Is this one in 3D? Why do you why are you saying that? Cuz look at the credits. Is that how that works? This looks like they wanted this one to be in 3D. Do we need glasses? No, no, no. We we can see. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I need glasses <laughs> desperately. Gran Turismo. I, I take it this one's going to be a, a NASCAR wreck? Which I will say, off jump, is the least relatable of all the other accidents. That's true. I've only been in one NASCAR race. Tell me again why we chose this over seeing the movie. If these no. guys lose focus for even a millisecond, you're going to have to scrape them off the fence. What's his name, Greg? Oh, my God. Please don't do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Complete in Of course it's to see a crash. You're sick, huh? Don't do this again. Oh, her I know. She's from One Tree Hill and also something else, and her name is... Oh, my God, Greg! <laughs> Sophia, no. No, 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 she's not Sophia, but her name is... Yes. I know her very well. Oh, Don't do this. Oh, my God. <gasps> Bench broke. Sus. I'm focused on the movie and not on who the cast is. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Hey, sport, my girl use your binoculars? Well, they're not really binoculars exactly. They're more... That's uncouth. I owned those. Oh, do you? Used to in college. And in her 30s. I'm not going to be able to help it. I know both him and her. Okay. We will look them up after. Don't worry. Pardon me. Oh, that is so annoying. I guess it's more relatable if they die. Uh, our teens? Well, We're just teenagers. like people die watching sports. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, more yeah. relatable than dying playing them. That's you know? probably what's going to happen, yeah. <laughs> this tape. Oh, mom. <laughs> no, no, no. Put tampons in their ears. <laughs> That's just wrong. Is that going to come back around? There goes the neighborhood. Was that a racist comment? Need you to move your foot. Thank you. I think he's a racist. I think she was in The Flash, too, or one of those. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Motor oil. Oh, 
death is on its game. Chantel? Oh, you're still on that? I moved on. <laughs> is it safe to sit here? Of course, there's a fence there. We're fine. Relax. Ooh. What? <laughs> okay. Why have all those beloved drivers died? Is, is that common? I, I guess. There's a crack in the foundation. This just needs to be a cool stunt sequence. That's all I want. Oh, he said no wait. Nope. Don't pull away yet. Yikes. Maybe go after him? <laughs> yeah, run on the track. Bill Wall Leather. Bill Wall Leather is about to make a leather wall. All everybody's skin going to be leather. Every, everyone going down the track it's today. It's all going to burn. The, the final. It's either Crystal or Chantel. Shake and bake, baby. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, oh those tires are coming oh. out. Oh, my oh. God. We are off to the races. We saw blood from her, right? They're, like, going right to it. Oh. Oh no, that's going to be brutal. Yeah, that's sharp. Oh no. This happens in life. Yeah. You know, if you're in a stampede situation, you want to make sure that you keep your backpack on. Ah. And make yourself as big as possible. You listening to me? I could have just saved your life. This one's super CGI. This was definitely a 3D movie. So which one of them do you think is getting the visions? It's the guy? The guy who got the beloved yeah, thing driver. that saw the... Come on! Whoa, see that pipe? It's in 3D, it's right at me. Ow, hey, what the hell? Oh, you see the trajectory? The lead characters go guy, girl, guy, girl. Cowboy in a hat, he, he sits here, pardon me. She gets tampons, she puts them in her kid's ears. Put them in your ears. That's a lot of tampons for one woman. <laughs> Men are so stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get out of here. Thank God. What? No, no. I got five hundred dollars no in the way. We're, we're not leaving. I want to see the ten-minute short film where they where they just let it happen. No, we gotta go right now. We gotta go. Oh my God! We didn't spend any time at all getting to know the characters. That's like some, one of the build-up things you got to do. So, of course there's a crash. There's always a f***ing crash. Whoa, 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 whoa. What crash? Yeah, the security guard is somebody we know, too. Yeah, it's Bubba from Forrest Gump. My wife's in there, asshole! Let me go! I gotta find her! Get your hands off me! I gotta find her! You all lost your f***ing mind! Jeez. <laughs> Guess death came for her anyway. Ooh. This is the first time the credits are after. Yeah, uh, Chantel Sting. Van Senten. No, that she changed her last name. But I knew it was Chantel. Krista Allen too. Interesting. Okay. I know Ooh, this, I is, this is your now. bliss right now. This is bliss. Did you say? This is your bliss. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I couldn't be happier that I was right about her name. David Rappaport. Yes, casting. Let's go, David and Lindsay. I love them. This isn't an audition, Roxy. No, just he's my enjoy, friend. Just enjoy the movie. <laughs> Oh, I think these are deaths from the older movies. Yeah, yeah, these are deaths from the other ones. What gave it away? The train? <laughs> yeah. 
Death, Death by, by caffeine. caffeine. All right. Challenge accepted. Are amusement parks going the way of the dinosaur? Did you see that sign? That was an Easter egg. That was the subtitle on screen. Because of what happened last time. Yeah. But why are we still alive? Who cares why? If we made it, we deserved it. <laughs> He's my favorite character. Keep him alive. I think you're SOL. Oh. oh. McKinley Speedway. McKinley. McKinley. That was the name, name of the high school, yeah. Yeah. And the guy. I can't go back there, Lori. Yeah, screw that. I mean, the least we can do is pay our respects to those people there. What people? People didn't have a Dr. Xavier with them to tell them to get out of the way? It's an X-Men reference. <laughs> Good one. Kiss it. It's your choice, heads or tails, but you know I like head. <laughs> Guys, look. Something gave us a second chance. So. This feels like a CW show. Yeah, it really does. It's giving Riverdale. Like the line about head, underrated though. His one liners so far about tampons and <laughs> underrated. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think they're you've, excellent. You've been able to gather the scope of that line about head <laughs> to qualify it as not enough people have talked <laughs> about this line. <laughs> yes, you heard me. <laughs> Dead kid. Woo! You know what I like about this one so far? They're just like, let's just cut through all the bullshit. We, they know how this goes. Speed it up. Yeah, I think that's a problem. We don't need to build up. <laughs> I, I wanted to thank you. You're a hero. Because of your warning, we're alive. And our two sons are safe. Look. Is she t tampon on the ears, lady? Mm -hmm. How did you know it was going to happen? Look, we're just glad you all are okay. Thank you. The music is the dramatic. Hey, it's it's nice to see people actually being like, hey, you're a hero, instead of, what are you? Pretty freaked out about that back there. I just wanted to ask you how you uh, killed my wife. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's need like that. the McKinley dude. We need that character. I'm going to go in there after, but you, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, he was giving racist earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody lives forever. <laughs> oh. Whoa. It's time for you to leave, sir. Time. Damn. Koi Jandro could have played that guy. Based on... Oh, nothing. <laughs> like that was the most disparaging. <laughs> Where do I know the this detective guy from? Hey, Bubba from Forrest Gump. No, I know him from something. Have you not seen Forrest Gump? No, I have. I know him from a TV show. The Third, uh, the third Watch. He was a show, uh, Third Watch. It was an NBC show. <laughs> Whoa, it's coming right at me. Okay, I know the problem with, that happened with this movie. They made it too much for 3D. <laughs> they got way too caught up in the gimmick. This seemed real. Just try to relax and get back to sleep. I'm right here. This franchise is good at hot people, though. Yeah. Ooh. That's a sign. It's been a long time since I've watched a movie where I heard somebody call somebody the N-word. That was, like, just truly shocking. Yeah, it was. Have you heard uh, Koi Casts with Koi Jandra? <laughs> <laughs> it is one of the quickest ways to make an audience dislike somebody. Depending on who that audience member is. Yeah, I guess the, the right audience. Hey, Ma, it's late. What are you doing up? No, no, no. they turn fine. on the TV? Yeah, it's fine. Alcoholics Anonymous. And the wisdom to know the difference. Have we had any hints about how the guy inside is going to die? No. Oh, like Cross? Is he like a KKK member? Maybe he's going to die right now. I hope we kill him off early. But does he deserve it, Roxy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. He's digging a grave for him? No, to put the cross in there. Better. better. Don't you know how it goes here? <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe death wasn't supposed to kill 
Yeah. To be, yeah. Maybe death is against racism. Like, this is the first time we're seeing death be like, no, but it isn't his time. It's your time. <laughs> what the hell is happening? He was trying to kill somebody else, but that person wasn't supposed How to die yet. You gotta catch on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Yo, this one is so weird. Before the truck exploded, when you're some freaky. Ironically, Carter's wife was tragically I've seen that door before. You have? That is freaky. Yeah, in his nighttime vision, his nightmare. You caught that? <laughs> it's coming right at me. This is like acting out of a late night Cinemax movie. I don't think it was a dream. It was like a vision. I mean, there were, there were flames and, and... Bad continuity. But I was just saying the same thing. Like, you can't match, match up her mouth? Come on, man. Prepper does a better job. Yeah, Prepper. Woo! It was like I saw clues as to how he was going to die. Just now I saw another one. What is with the continuity on her looks? So they can't match it up. <laughs> Ever since I left the racetrack, it feel like there's something in the room with me. What is happening to me? This one is so B-movie schlocky odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying it. Bet you can't hit that sign with a rock. Okay. Oh, these are the two kids with the tampons. All right, death. Let's see what you do. Gasoline. Smoking a cigarette. This guy's an idiot. Richard's out today. So, my appointment? Is there someone else that can see me? Please. Um, look at this. Ah, thank you so much. Didn't she go on a date with Joey once? When Rachel and he was trying to, after Rachel and him had their friend date and he started falling in love with her and then didn't he go on a date with her and he like turned to look at her, watch her walk away and he's like, nah, you're not a friend. <laughs> Long enough. Die hard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've only told him to fix it like a million times. <laughs> hey. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch something that happens like that. <laughs> They do know how to do that. Yeah. Like set you up yeah. for something disgusting. Yeah. Ah! I don't even want to hear it. No, 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 Greg, no, Greg, no, Greg, no, Greg. <laughs> Ooh, boy. No. Nails. Oh, that is the worst. Second would be teeth. Yeah. Could I please get some water? That's gonna fall. Honestly, I'm okay with it being the fan, the grease, the whatever, but not the toe. The toenail's gross. Do you think? See, I don't like this stuff where it just looks like death is just moving shit with its hand. Oh, it's sliding on the water. Is it though? It looks. It kind of just looks like death is pushing it. Honestly, seriously, as long as it's not the toe. Yeah, I could watch anything. Stab her eyes for all I care. <sighs> Ooh. S sizzle, sizzle. Sorry. It won't happen again. <clears throat> Move her to a different chair. I will always. Oh, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was this just one giant fake out? I am so sorry about this. Boys, come on. Oh, no. Let's go. She's going to walk the outside car. and the rock is going to hit her. I think so? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Whoa. Eye on you, too. As long as it's not a toenail. Don't you think it's just a little weird that two of the people Nick saved are now dead? Weird is putting tampons in your kids' ears. The night before it happened, Nick had a really strange dream. I feel like I'm just watching a series of events. <laughs> I'm not watching an actual movie right now. 
and I realized I'd actually see how the next person was going to die. We stayed up Googling premonitions, visions, signs. Uh -huh. There are tons of articles about people. <laughs> Every survivor died. In the precise order they were meant to die in the accident. Well, we survived. So now does that mean we all die? You're catching on, sweetheart. This feels like a really well-lit student film. <laughs> is it really well-lit? I mean, I'm saying if this was a student film, I'd be like, this is well-lit, <laughs> and that would be my compliment. I'm just saying, he could be watching a ton of TV. You know what this stuff does to me. Janet, it's okay. What does it do to you? Makes her very anxious, Greg. Why do you gotta be a prick all the time? She saw somebody die right in front of her. So did we. Yeah, and we're all freaked out. Really? You? You seem so unaffected. If you're right about this whole crash thing, then I'm going to make the most of every moment I have left. I'm gonna go get laid. If I'm dying, I'm trying. His lines are saving this whole movie. If I'm dying, I'm trying. <laughs> They're probably just some weird coincidences. This guy's way too chill. If you're dying, you're trying. At least hook up. What does it keep saying in there? It's here? I think we can stop it. How? We gotta go to the racetrack. Oh. <laughs> the way the visions are shot this time, that 3D thing is just not well, landing. It's, it's not creative, the way they're doing it. it it's, it's just like, he just has a vision of how it's gonna go down. <laughs> and There's no, like, solving, you know? This is the only thing that I can think of to help me remember the order. Okay, so he, he's figured out the order, Sitch. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna focus on what's good about it. Watch this happen. What's good about it is looking people. <laughs> yes. Dimples. Then that racist and his wife. We killed the racist. You killed the racist. Or as TikTok says, we unalived the racist. Mm hmm Maybe this was a really bad idea. No. No. I gotta try. Yeah, you've got to. You better have a damn good reason for trespass. Mm-hmm. I just need to remember the order. Young man, that sounds crazy. Yep. Yeah. Maybe I'm this sure. will help you. <laughs> Did he just say, young man, that sounds crazy. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe this will help you. <laughs> McKinley Speedway. Was there any McKinley in the first two? There. I have no clue. That's where that guy in the mechanic jacket dies. Adam Sandler light. That collapse kills Hunt and Janet. And that's when you die. And then Lori and me. Man, they got such a hype. Like, he's such a great actor. They got him to be in this. Yeah, maybe if we can stop this mechanic from getting killed, we can break the chain. And the rest of us will all be safe. No negative. No, his name. We know nothing about him. But we do know where he works. Grand State Custom. Yeah, smarty. <laughs> Tell me they have her in heels. I pray to God they have her in heels. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to find you. You think this guy looks like Adam Sandler? Yes. Mm. You don't? No. <laughs> They're now dead. I I'm sorry, it. but we think that you're going to be next. Looks like his brother. Yeah, I'm going to say it. It's porno acting. Well, you literally already said that. Oh, I did. Did I? <laughs> Cinemax, huh. After Dark. Or oh, something. Yeah, 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 I did. Watch it not. You die like that in front of me. I want to see exactly her feet. I lost my wife and my daughter in a car accident. And he escaped death. And I was drunk. He escaped death. The day I asked myself, how come it couldn't be me? Oh, he caused death. It was actually destroying their memory. So now I try to live each day in their name. That's the stuff you don't like. This 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 thing is paced so weird. I'm around dangerous equipment every day. If I was meant to die, it would have happened by now. Um. Look out! Oh, I guess it's not my turn to die. Oh, that was gnarly. Cool. Oh, 
Looks like cake. We have to warn your friends. Which one is next? Look, they both died in the collapse. I don't Nick, know. Think. Focus. I really feel like this is the first time they cast people off of their looks. Or do you think it's just the directing not being able I to I mean, capture? I've seen her in several things, and she's, she's so great. good. Okay, so it could just so be the way like, the movie's directed? All right. I'm, like, honestly struggling with that because she's really effing talented. This movie is a market improvement over the last three. Uh, we, no, we've got boobies in all movies. I don't know about all of them, but this one and last one. This is like an 80s horror sequel. <laughs> Is he a lifeguard? No. Maybe. I don't think so. Lifeguards wear red, right? He's your type. That is actually the rudest thing you've ever said to me and so categorically false. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy's more my type. Yes, so <laughs> that was so fast. It's almost as if I hit a trigger point. <laughs> God damn it, Brian. <laughs> I would never. Thanks. Have a nice day. Let's see what we got here, Brownie. I swear to God, if anything happens to that dog. Penny, that's some bullshit. That's like a, that was huge. Close your door, yeah. Wait, don't look up, you're driving. What are you trying to do? My custom piece of shit. You're driving, honey. What are you trying to do? It's a red light. Red light. Red light. Red light. Clear. Clear. Oh, damn. That's an Easter egg. All right. This hunt, you know what to do. Hunt, listen to me, buddy. Listen, no water, okay? Stay away from water. But how can he stay away from water when he's general. having sex at the pool? I know. I mean, this is a death worth risking, right? I mean, come on. Yeah, if I'm dying, I'm trying. I mean, he's succeeding. Messages marked urgent. <laughs> Give me the gun. Oh. No! This is the man you said was my type. And I'm right. <laughs> oh. Greg, take it back. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't kill him off. He's the best part of the movie. He he does have the best one-liners. Oh. Wow, that's, that's how you drain the pool. <laughs> that's a strong, strong plastic gun right there. <laughs> Death had to pull on gravity in that moment. He's always doing this coin thing. I know it's one of his ticks. He's a character actor. Oh, people are always so afraid of the pool drains. I wonder. Uh, oh, what's going to happen? It's time to make some predictions, Roxy. What's going to happen? Get suctioned to it and drown. I don't know how. Ooh, car wash death. Do you know that I think that car washes are like the hottest place on the planet? I you, hope that... you know, I, I thought you might have thought that. What? <laughs> what? Well, obviously, it's where people's minds go. Is that true? No. <laughs> Who the hell thinks that? I don't know. Sometimes when you're in there and it's like all the colors and stuff, I'm like, ooh, ah. Oh, yeah. This is, a, this is the most seductive place right here. I kind of think so. <laughs> okay. Please at home, tell me I'm right. Ooh, let's see if this preys on any fears because I do like to go to the car wash. I do too because it's hot. It's the hottest place on the planet, man. You don't think this is sexy? I guess. It's like loud. I don't know. <laughs> what is your qualifications of sex? <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. It's mysterious. It's wet. <laughs> what is she honking at? Uh, she's trying to get the attention of... Uh, Person there. I'm gonna give the movie credit there. I would have honked the she horn. She tries to, try to, to get open attention. her door. Why are you trying to open your door? So you can get out of the situation yeah, that you're trapped in. Yeah, but it's a car wash. You can't. Is she gonna drown in her own car? I mean, that's hot to some people, man. Pure sex. Oh my gosh. 
you know, I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be your. Where are we now? Oh. Okay. It's obviously a country club, Greg. Oh, it's his coin. coin. What's going to happen? It gets sucked in there. Yeah, he goes to get it and he gets sucked in. Yeah, he's going to drown. In the Why does this coin have so much meaning to him? I don't know, but he's going to go try to get it. It went down there. Oh, don't do that. Yup, knew it. I called that. Take what? your pants off. Take your shorts off. Take your shorts off. Or he could just drown. I feel like she could have climbed out of there. Yeah, me too. Maybe it's going to close on her head. Oh, yeah. Oh, now it's moving. Oh, oh that sucks. Yeah. That is a good one. That sucks. Oh, Jesus. Would that hurt? Whoa. <laughs> that is a well done one. Get her out. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going to happen? Ooh. Well, she wasn't next. I know. Take your shorts off. Because little... he's your type. <laughs> That's why I want you to take your shorts take off. Take your yeah. shorts off. Oh. You just, like, sucked him in? Yeah. That was a little All? bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> All of him? <laughs> I'm next. George, you can't give up. Unless you do. She was good in other things? I'm telling you. Enjoy oh, that man. one. No, he's an alcoholic. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jeez, Roxy. <laughs> Who's the racist now? <laughs> I, forgot. I forgot he was reading A. My bad. I was just like, yeah, we could use a good glass of wine. Honestly, though, if you're an alcoholic and you know for sure you're going to die. Oh, man, dude, do some coke, man. Just do it all at this point. It's not my actual suggestion. I don't care what happens. We are in this together. This feels like when a director casts himself in something, and that's why they got this kind of lead. That'd be unique. Uh, yes. They were saved. Through action, they were saved. That's what that says? No, it says action on potholes. No, through action, they were saved with the parts that were in the not spilled on. Oh. I think. Yeah, yeah, I caught that too. I'm on the same, I think on the same page. Through action, they were Car saying. washes are sexy. <laughs> Yo, am I right or am I right? She's car not, washes she's are not hot. talking about when cheerleaders are at car washes or something. Bikini <laughs> wash she's talking about. No. Just a regular drive Every time I'm in there by wash. myself, I'm like, I wish somebody was in here with me, man. <laughs> oh, no. No, George, you're the best actor in the film, man. Come on. He's providing weight. I really don't think this is the actor's fault. I think he's the best one in the film. George! No, I knew it. George! I just didn't say it out loud, but I knew it. God. Oh! Oh my, <laughs> oh my God! I took a bottle of painkillers. I just threw them up. Then I went to the garage. Hooked the hose from the tailpipe, stuck it inside the car. The car kept it stalling. Won't. He's not next. Saving Janet must have destroyed the list then. No. I think congratulations Whoa. are in order. I mean, theoretically, is a cool shot. We've been given a second chance. So what are you guys going to do with it? They better do. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this one is so goofy. <laughs> Maybe it's time to stop talking about doing stuff and actually start doing it. Through action. You only live once, right? No, he forgot about somebody else's death. Who could it be? It's like they don't care at all about their friend that died in the pool. <laughs> in all fairness, I guess they're not positive it was him. They must have. Learn by now. Amsterdam, here we go. You know, Janet is so incredibly jealous. All right, well, tell her I said hi. I will. This movie is completely void of emotions. I'm, I am curious where we're going. You are? That's a genuine feeling you're having? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, Satan! The unknown survivor of the McKinley Speedway crash has finally been named. Jonathan Groves was rescued in the rubble. He's next. That's the right reason. Remember that guy who sat in front of me at the race with the cowboy? He didn't die, all right? Which means he's next. 
just be there in five, all right? I'm on my way. Did a completely different team make this movie? So he sees him die in the shower. Or this. You feeling okay, Mr. Subi? You know how many of your kind I killed in Korea? <laughs> I'm Chinese, sir. Big difference. ET3 right now. Okay. And I do mean now. Okay. There's a strange racist spirit about this one. Yeah, it's like unnecessary. What's in the water? Uh oh. Somebody help! Is it so we don't care when he dies that they made him racist also? I guess. That might be the best. I think they're just trying to add personality to the Oh, movie. But, so he's above them. Yeah, I don't think the old guy's going to die. It would be, that would be so confusing. Like, what is happening? I made it out of the rubble and now... Shit happens, man. You know, you guys warned us. <laughs> I'm waiting for, like, something to be new and innovative, like how they figure out how the person, you know, how we had, like, the photos from the last time or there was the connection the time before to the first movie. Like, we need something. Hit us with something. I think we just keep an eye out for any signs of danger. I think we got a shot, okay? Let's just go find Lori and Janet. It's like deja vu. Oh, no. My wife said that deja vu is like God's way. Okay. No! It is shocking how much of a downgrading quality of sto of a of, of a movie it is. I have like it eighty is. theories on how and why too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, up oh, shoelace that shit is stuck. Her kicks are stuck, but she's no, not supposed to be. Her net. sneaks are stuck. Her shoelace is stuck. Oh, oh, just help me get it out. Look. Take your f shoe off. Don't pull my out. It's okay. Green screen. Oh, try to get it out. Need to pull. Not but is she next? Pushing my ankle. Ow. Ow. Nick's gonna think you're so unattractive now. Yeah, your sneaks are totally destroyed. Where are we that that was just a fire in the sand? I don't know. I feel like they cut to a lot of random spots. Hi, ladies. Hi. Theater 13, second door on your left. 13's an unlucky number for many people. It's only the three of them left. <laughs> yeah. And I haven't given a shit about it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Where's um Tony Todd? Yeah, he wasn't even around the last one. It's here. Oh Movie my god. Theater. I think that they're gonna die in the theater. What gave you that clue? Well, I could pick up on subtle details really well. Oh, is this like a happening above the theater? Remember the nail gun death in the other one or the nails through that person's head? That was gnarly. Uh. What have the deaths in this one been? Death by water in the pool. Death. Hey, man, there, you might be onto something with the elements. <laughs> you honestly. Uh, the elements came back. <laughs> you might be honest. Fire, like water. Yeah, dude, you're onto them. Now, cut them off. What are they watching? <laughs> I was like an AMC commercial. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. This is a weird advertisement. Do you remember when Nick said that he could see signs before something bad was going to happen? Now I think I'm seeing them. It's Nothing's just so happen. hollow. It's like, even if I didn't believe my friend, if they said that, I'd be like, let's go home. It's just a movie. Who cares? Really? I'd be like, we covered all this time and money. I'd be like, you drive home, Roxy. You make us sit on the aisle anyway. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> That's the difference between me and you, Greg. <laughs> that and the whole car wash debacle. Who are you in here? Nick. Oh, good. It's right there. George is dead. Janet, we gotta go. Come on. No. Wait. I was meant to see this movie. <laughs> Yeah, you were. But how could she have died next? That really defeats the order. Well, why? Why? Who was supposed to die next? Ch Chantel. Really? Yeah, because we skipped her already when she was in the water from the her oh, okay. car. 
right? We skipped her after she was already supposed to die. She got crushed at the same time as her boyfriend. Then they were both in those water accidents, but we saved her from the water accident, so we were supposed to skip her. I believe you. I'm on your side. There's a lot of massacres in this one. Oh, Jesus. Hey, that's creative. That's, that's different. That's creative. Murder her. Oh, my God. Crush her. Flatten her. That means deja vu. My wife said that deja vu is like God's way. All right. I'll give the movie some credit. Man, that was good. That was good. But we're going to do that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's going to prevent this. But come on. I didn't think that was. Did you see that coming? But what? I, I don't really get. I don't really get it. Oh, okay. Just, just, <laughs> just give me something. I'm going to go whatever. I'm taking my wins at this moment. But what's your game plan, buddy? Why don't you call the fire department, man? Why don't you call the fire department? Come on, come on, come on! Damn it! Oh, is he gonna die? I'm for it. I think he should have been the first one to die. Now they don't care about the order. <laughs> oh, where's that one thing gonna fly to? <laughs> we didn't start the fire. Fall out, boy! Thank you. You can get out of that. Oh, I want to see him fail. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell who I'm rooting for. <laughs> I want to see them all die. Oh my God, it's like it's right, it's right, it's coming right at me. Fire alarm or what? I've been thinking about what I'm going to eat after this movie is done the whole time. <laughs> what are you thinking? My Lean Cuisine pizza. Oh my god, he saved the day. Two weeks later. Isn't it supposed to be screwed tighter? You're right. Tell you what, we'll get somebody on that. Pays to be safe, man. Trust me. <laughs> That was a commercial. Is, I don't know for what, but... Is this his character arc? God, I love you back. Whoa, is that a real oh, backer? Thanks, yeah. I actually just got it. Did you? Where? Yeah, uh, there's a place right next oh, to no. Breviks. It just opened. Breviks, like a grocery store and a farm shop. Forest, Forest Lawn. Lawn. Lovelace died. All the places people have died. <laughs> the race cars. We're putting it all together, Greg. What is that background? What if we didn't change anything? What are you talking about? Oh no. Being here, right now, was the plan from the beginning. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Oh, what? It's all happening in x ray vision? No, these are the credits. Well, that happened. Okay, so Bobby Campo's the name of the guy you're talking about. Yeah. I'm curious if... Uh, I'm going to go follow him on Instagram right now. Yeah, Chris Allen is the guy. Um, yeah, so we just watched <laughs> Destination <laughs> 4, and here's what I'll say. The people, the people were right. The people were right on this one. People were w wicked right. Yeah, that was, um, that was... I just can't believe we got one, two, and three, and then this is what followed. Was this direct to DVD? I mean that honestly. No, it was clearly in 3D in the theaters. <laughs> it was clearly made for that. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. It, it, the thing is, though, it, I, it wasn't I, miserable to watch in, in, by any means for me. Was it for you? I think uh, if we, if I, if I was at home by myself, I would have turned it off.
relatively quick. Bummer. You, would you? you? No. You would have finished it? I think I would have started cooking dinner. Oh, so you would have just half paid attention? Yeah, you ever do that where you're yeah. watching something and you're like, meh, so you just like start. I would have second screened it or started cooking dinner. Like, I still, th- I love the premise of these movies, so there are still interesting moments. The main issues I had were that I didn't love the kills in this one. The dialogue was uh, was challenging. I didn't know or care about any of the characters. Uh, and there was no... There was no aha moment. Like, I guess at the end here with that. You hold that. Uh, yes, aye, aye, Captain. And uh, I'll pull up stuff. All right. All right, what am I pulling up? Um, let's go to IMDb. <laughs> let's All right. Let's Mouse pad me. All right. Let's, uh, what's happening here? We're going to look up some stuff. I want to, okay, type the final. Two final destination. The final. Okay, here we go. Is this one right? Yep. 2009. It's the year I graduated high school. So they got the... I think that their um, wardrobes were great. Okay, the director was... <laughs> I think their wardrobes They were, were accurate. The director was David Ellis. All right, I'm looking him up. And he also has directed the likes of... I don't worry. I'm going mean, to... Go, go back up. What's he known for? Go back up. He's known, known for... Matrix Reloaded. Oh, he was a second unit... Shark Knight, Cellular, Snakes on a Plane. He was oh, a director da- of Snakes okay, on a Plane. Okay, so he does, Snakes on a Plane is like schlocky B-movie entertainment. Cellular wasn't too bad. Have you seen Cellular? No, what is it? It's the one with Chris Evans, and he's trying to save Kim Basinger. Uh, she's been kidnapped by Jason Statham. Hmm. Okay, so where's his like directing credits? Okay, mainly did stunt work. We'll c- click on the directing. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, he's mainly done stunt work. Click on the top, of the, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, Asylum. Okay. We did Snakes on a Plane before this. I told you that. He directed Final Destination 2? Really? No shit. That is shocking. What was the budget for this one? Even though it, there was like more, it seemed like it might have been a bigger budget. The budget seemed so tiny during some parts. And we, the, that's where it's so quick. Like, we'd hit some of the car and then done. All right, type in the final destination production budget. All right, all right, you got it. You got it. All right. Okay. 20, uh, no, that's the, that's the gross. Okay, here we go. But $40 million. That was fun. That cost $40 million. I could see it with the 3D and all that stuff. Yeah, um. man. Yeah. Wow, they got the director of the second one, and this is what turned out. That's shocking. That's truly shocking. What I went need to do wrong? Some, I have some research we, to do. What went wrong with this movie? Okay, hold on. I need to do this. Oh, I told you what she was in. She was in One Tree Hill, and she was very good in that. The Flash, yep. I was right on about that. I'm a brilliant, brilliant person. Now I need to know about... We got more than four for you. Okay, this other dude. What did he do afterwards? Bobby Campo? That's the guy that, okay. He was in Legally Blondes. Okay, so he didn't work much after this movie, <laughs> as uh, <laughs> you kind of predicted, <laughs> which is interesting. I really don't feel like this was his fault, but okay. And then No, no, no. There's a Mi- lot wrong with And this then movie. Michael T. Williamson, I know from what? He's done like a billion things. Yeah, I know, he's I know. A, he's but a I just prolific saw, actor. Yeah, for sure. I just know that I saw him in something recently that he was very good in. Oh, Species 2? No. Free Willy? No. <laughs> None of those. Oh, Fences. Yeah. Okay. All of these things. Yeah, okay. I've seen him in like a thousand, a thousand things. Yep. Good talk. Yeah, good talk. Good commentary. We really provided you. <laughs> well, you told me to do this and this, so I'm doing this. Did I and say this. for you to do this? No, you told me to do this. Yeah. So but don't, I, th- I, th- I feel don't like it's blame one me. person's This job. is why women are written mad in these Final Destination movies. Who's the mad of, one? Because of this attitude. Well, I'm just mad because you got mad first. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Okay, l- let me ask you this question, and I want you to try to answer it as non sarcastically as you possibly can. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> What did you like about this movie? I liked the car wash scene. Because it was hot? 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Way to keep up the non sarcasticness of the show. <laughs> Con Air. Con Air, yes, using Con Air. I like the car wash scene. I like the scene where um actress you claim is amazing dies in the elevator in the escalator. Chantel, but I'm I'm telling you she changed her last name. Um I mean, maybe she got married and uh, changed her last name. Yeah, I think so. And uh, you really know, like a, a, a thing here, so that way we can just uh, pull it out and, I know. and, she and didn't do the change full her research. La- she didn't change her last name. It's still Van Sant, but I don't remember that being the case. Uh, she's still attractive? Yeah, she's really cute. No, uh, yeah, yeah, she's still attractive. Yeah, for right. sure. That's what counts. She's very good, I'm telling you. She's in The Boys. Yeah. She's she's uh, a butcher's yeah, mom. wife. Yeah, uh, yes. she's the mom. But she is a she's great very good, actress. Right? Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yes. That, like, I've yes, seen her in a bajillion right. things. She's super oh, solid. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I thought she was great in that show. Yeah, it, it, that's I why really I'm saying. I really cared about we, her character a lot. I yeah. really feel like we cannot judge any of these actors based on this because. Okay, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, she's yeah. really good. And she was in The Flash. Yeah, she's very good. Okay. I feel bad for her because in this she genuinely doesn't seem like she knows what she's doing okay. but it, that's got to be the director or Look, the the dialogue just type in okay yo, yo, hold on let's go to the trivia here in the final destination i gotta know the name of the blonde dude because i know him too okay nick zano yeah click on him what is he in is it 90210 or what's his deal i've seen him in, in something where uh for another 10 years dc's legend of tomorrow oh, he's nate, nate, nate Hay- okay. haywood yeah. no of course he's nate haywood yeah, that was so stuff, stupid yeah. of me oh i told you it's all the cw people which makes sense because david rapport casts us he does all the cw shows yeah oh well, maybe it shouldn't be so insulting then krista allen is the one that you recognized krista allen her character is literally milf <laughs> yeah and she is she's a total milf She's a stand-up um, comic. Ma- anger management, Baywatch. She was in an episode of Friends, I guarantee it. And the fact that you can't recall this. No, I think you're right, but I can't remember exactly. Wait, wait, you missed it. Where? She was in anger management. No, no. Oh, wait, no, it said feast. Okay, control maybe, F. Yeah, I got you. I wish you guys could see what we're trying to do here. Did I type? I can't see anything. No, delete. You put frimmed. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it there. All right, hit enter. Yeah. yeah, Mabel. Okay, so what's the episode? The one where what? It was the one where him. Remember what the when, when one where Joey dates Rachel? Yeah, yes, you're right. You're I was right. trying to tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you're uh, and then he talking goes about. On but a, she doesn't look the same. I mean, I guess on, she's younger there. Uh, he goes on a. D- I mean, it's only been a few years. Unless you're saying something about women just age significantly within a few years. That's kind of mean and sexist, Roxy. Women get better as they get older. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Jesus. So everybody knows <laughs> that men are like a fine oh. wine and women are like dumpster oh, trucks. Yeah. That is just not a hint of sincerity <laughs> there, people. Okay, wait, going back, can you, let's rewind. Let's go back to the things you liked about this movie. I liked the 3D. They really popped. Did you like any character? God no, they were all awful. The characters were tough in this one. Tough? What? What? What do you mean tough? You like they were like strong? No, no, it was like t- oh man, that was tough. Tough. Oh, rough. oh, I thought you were like <laughs> these were all strong characters. No, they were tough to like. You know, like they really. Oh no, they were terrible. Yeah. Michael T. Williamson's character was the most easy to like. He was really trying. Yeah, yeah. He was really trying. It just. And and it just it, it felt like just a series of events just strung together with no real direction as because they were making this movie. <laughs> their transitions were bizarre with the flashes like of the three D what's happening. Yeah, it just felt really piecemealed. And, and like, although I did just ask us to talk about what we liked, and I just was not capable of staying really on hard. that. I at one point said during the reaction, "I'm going to focus on only the things <laughs> that I liked," and I don't think I succeeded for even a, a minute. But the the remember that, you know the complaint I've had where I'm like, oh, I really want them to kind of feel affected by when a death happens. And yes, this is especially did it. They would. It was like every next scene was a reset of yeah. just. Hey, we're back to being normal. Like right away, I I could I just really couldn't care. Like Blonde Boy was sucked into the pool system 
guts gores come out his yeah. coin and you guys were all like it's over and it was like what, what bro that was not well done okay i'm trying to see we all know he liked head and then he ended up having no head yeah and then one girl almost got her head cut off i, th- I do think the uh the car wash scene was actually well done what happened with the kids of the milf um i think they lived i like the car wash scene too the lowest rate on imdb thank god yeah, and then they just said this is the one that Tony Todd's schedule conflicted with, which is a bummer because he, I do like when he's in these. Okay, I look. Just, just. Type, what are you looking at right just now? Just type in what went wrong <laughs> with Final Destination Four. Okay. Okay. But are we going to the cesspool that is Reddit, or what are you thinking here? Uh, there's got to be like. Something that happened with what went wrong with putting this together because, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it would like was it a different? Um, was the writers different than any other movie? Okay, yeah, let's start there. Because <laughs> some, it, it is is baffling. Yeah, it, it's, I know, it, it's I know, I'm with you. Truly baffling. I am of, with you. Of what? Yeah, we're gonna get down to the bottom of this. Okay, look, all I gotta do is go to this guy. Oh, we were just on Nate Haywood's um, thing. We were watching Sarah Lance get married. It was really beautiful. I'm sorry. Okay, well, anyway. Yeah, like, okay, so. so. You know, it's directed by the same guy who directed the second one, but it's written by Eric Bress and Jeffrey Reddick. Okay, Eric Bress. Okay. He wrote Final Destination 2. And he wrote The Butterfly Effect. What? I just can't determine... What happened with so this? So the film? same team behind d- two did this one. That is baffling to me. There's got to be. They had a, a big enough budget. They had the same team. They had quality actors. I'm telling you. Yeah, I I, I just can't get over like the um, I can't get over what happened here. Hmm. All right. There's one last section I have to check. What is it? Go to yourself before you wreck yourself. No. Okay. There's no room for jokes now, Roxy. Oh. Go, go to Wikipedia. Oh, really? There's usually there's like facts about the production process. Okay. Type the final destination. Okay. All right, you good? You good? An American 3D supernatural horror film. All right. Development. All right. Read aloud for the kids at home. If I find something interesting, I will read aloud. James Wong was on board to direct, but he he directed Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh man! So that scheduling you had to drop out. This feels like Dragon Ball Evolution. So he, so Ellis accepted because of the three D. Okay. Perry said. Who's Perry? Perry. <laughs> who the fuck is Perry? Craig Perry was a producer. Okay, Craig Perry, art the producer. Oh, the guy who commented. He said he wanted to add depth to the film instead of just something popping out at the audience every four minutes. I guess. Well, wouldn't that be not a good reason to do 3D? Uh, yes. I'm confused by the sentence. He accepted because of 3D. For the 3D, Perry said he wanted to add depth to the film instead of just something popping out of the audience every four minutes. Can we do an interview where we get Perry on to talk to us about it? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I gotta ask you, man. <laughs> I just want to know what happened with this movie. Because, like... So, filming the shooting was it, to be done in Vancouver, where the previous ones were filmed, but they, this one was shot in New Orleans. Okay, so they were working in a different location. There's nothing really here that, that says... Uh, when he commented on the video, didn't he say, like, there's a lot of shit that went down, or no? Am I making that up? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you texted it to me, so let's read it. No? Yeah, let's read it. Yeah, okay. Let's read it. Yeah, let's read this it. This is much less a review and more of just us trying, <laughs> Getting to, down to, an we're, we're just trying to investigate what the hell happened with All right, this one. This is what Craig Perry wrote to us. Allegedly. We, I mean, I guess we don't know that it's him, but he says it is. This just popped up in my feed. Nice. Having produced all the Final Destination movies, I appreciate your reaction. And in general, I agree on almost all your points. There was a lot of figuring this out as we went along. 
We also reshot the ending while beefing up certain elements throughout all the sequences. You mentioned the budget, which was $23 million back in 1999 when it was shot. But the very advantageous exchange rate for Canadian currency at the time we shot in Vancouver brought the budget to $31 million. I do hope you watch the rest of them outside of FD4. I think they're all well-executed and entertaining. FD5 in particular was a real return to form. It may be my favorite of the bunch. Thanks again for watching. Okay, so he just said, I hope you watch the rest okay, of them. Okay, so... He doesn't like, he was even saying skip four. Yeah, he says outside of FD4, I think they're all well executed and okay. entertaining. Because, yeah, this one, right off the bat, the biggest, pr the problem that I had with it was the buildup of the sequence of events in the, in the opening NASCAR race. Because it didn't, like the other ones had a very, it's a very simple structure. You get to know the characters beforehand, you get invested, then you watch this, this ripple of effects, and then bam, the big incident happens, right? The premonition moment. And here it was just like rushing through everything. I'm like, I have no idea who these characters are. I could care less. There's no tension at all being conveyed whatsoever. And then it felt bogged down in, in CGI gimmicks, where even like the roller coaster event, in part three, which must have had CGI there. I mean, there were obvious parts of it that felt CGI, but that even felt more tangible. That even felt more real than the NASCAR stuff that went down, which is just in a, a crowd, uh, you know, uh, that is on ground and not on a moving roller coaster. Like, them being upside down on the roller coaster felt way more like, oh, my God, than anything that happened here. And this is something where I felt this should have been easier to capture and it just kind of kept moving at a whiplash pace without, and it it just felt so empty of emotion and, and on every regard. Like the, the, there was such a lackadaisical quality to the way all this went down. The relationships were challenged, like the lack of chemistry kind of between the friends where the two girls, Lori and whatever her name was, they didn't seem to like each other that much. And then the couple, um, the girl from the boys and her man, they kept saying they liked you. She says, that's my cowboy, but, like, what was the dynamic there? And then the guy friend of theirs that completes the four, the, he, they didn't care that he died. Yeah. So that was challenging, too. Yeah, I think that this one just it missed the mark from script to execution. I don't... It's hard to blame, like, one specific area because it feels like there was a lot of holes. Yeah. But again, I still, Greg, I'm not just saying this because we're doing this reaction. I'm not kidding you. I still had an enjoyable time throughout, kind of, because the premise I like. And and I did say at one point, I'm curious what happens here. I was never curious yeah, what's going to happen. I was. I was. You were, you seemed like you were actually intrigued at times yes. to go like, how are they going to solve this? What's like you? The game was enough for you at times. And for me, I was... I kept losing interest as, as it kept. It wasn't even so terrible. It it's good. You know what I mean. It wasn't mm -hmm. even. It didn't even quite broach there where I felt if it if it had at least done that. It was just like questionably bad, and it was kind of breaking my heart because I thought the third one might have been the best one. <laughs> so to go to go yeah, to that I'm with one. you, especially in uh, retrospect, in yeah. hindsight, the third one's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, that one. Well, maybe the fifth the one though. Like, what do you what do you think? Obviously, they can do differently than this. But what are you hoping to see? Is there an opening prediction that you have? Like, what what kind of scenery we could be in? I mean, setting scenario, scenery. It's a beautiful guess, sunny day. <laughs> I guess my favorite, the thing I liked about it too was not having not having any bit of familiarity with it at all. I mean, I didn't really like the. I, I think the the thumbnail for Final Destination Three gave away the roller coaster event, right? And, but here I was like, I have no idea what's gonna happen whatsoever. So that was fun. Um, but I don't know what the what would the fifth one be? It has to be some type of crazy disaster. We've done plane. Maybe they could be on set, road. right? Something goes wrong on set. Like it goes that meta. And maybe, I don't know. People say the fifth one's amazing, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. What are your <laughs> what are your final thoughts on the final destination for? Um Good, good. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Final thoughts. The yeah, I think one thing they had to nail too was the deaths. And they did not nail the deaths. You're right about that. Because 
I feel like the deaths were designed to have some moment that had a three D effect instead of really packing a true punch. The best death in this one was the car wash, and it wasn't a death. Yeah, that had the most tangibility and mm-hmm. and uh, like that one you could really feel like, ooh, this, there's something about this I can latch on because to. it's relatable. We all go through the car wash, and I think that this lacked that. Like the dentist yeah. really stood out to us because. I've been there before. You've been there before. Roller coaster, all that kind of stands out. This was like sometimes with the race car and the uh, just, it was, I don't know, it was not as like poignant. Yeah. And, good, good. And the, uh, the, what was the other one? Uh, I like the elevator, the escalator death. It wasn't real. I still thought it looked cool. I thought that was cool. Yeah, but that's, our favorite ones are the ones that didn't happen. Oh, you mean it wasn't real by, it was just a premonition. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And I thought they copped out with that x-ray shit at the end, too. Yeah, kind of, too. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, we see them get in that x-ray, x-ray. But we did open that way. Um. Okay. Well, that's Final Destination 4. We're going to do 5. Please be patient with me and my little schedule. I'm going to get back here as soon as I can. How's that cap taste? It's not yours, right? I don't know. Not anymore. <laughs> I think it's your BioFreeze, man. No, it is my BioFreeze cap. Yeah. Is your tongue turning numb? Huh? No, no, no. no. Do you want some? No, no. I just Do you want some cap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm all set with the cap. Um, thank you guys for being here, and a special thank you to somebody, right? Yeah, the man who introduced Roxy to the car wash. <laughs> that person deserves a shout out. Okay. Next time you see Roxy go to a car wash, <laughs> you make sure to get in line behind. That would have been a good song <laughs> prediction. Take hey, get your car wash day. That's a song. No, I don't know what it's at the jingle? car wash. Oh, that's it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the mine's car a jingle. Wash, yeah. yeah, yeah. That would have been better. Okay, that's a, a prediction yeah, for next I, I time. Yeah, I don't know what song you were doing. Hey, get your car washed today. It might be the same. I don't think it's a song. <laughs> we're losing steam because we got to get to our final destination, yeah. bed. Um, no, I had said a special shout-out because I was going to give a shout-out to oh, somebody yeah. special. But then oh, you wanted to shout out the car wash lover. Because that is the weirdest. You said a lot of weird stuff here. That is easily the weirdest. I did? You say often weird things here. And that is easily the Me weirdest thing. Me never. Here. Who we shouting out? I think you should shout out Flev Dorn and you got to do your Boston shout out. Let's go Flev. Flev Flev. <laughs> is that your Boston no, shout out? No, it's just like Flavor Flav, but yeah. Flev Flev. Nice. No, it's wicked fucking Flav. It's wicked cool Flav. Wicked Flav. Wicked Flav. F. F is for f- foot long Franks at the at <laughs> Fenway Park. Just for Fenway Park, honestly. The F was just for Fenway. Uh, L is for the the long trip that it takes to get back to Boston from LA. It's very long <laughs> and I'll be making it soon. E is for extraordinary. The whole city is just extraordinary, babe. Uh, v is for vagina. Yep, it's, the there best. Is. Yep, there it's the best. <laughs> it's the best poon in all the land. Let's go. Go Boston. Go Flev. That's what I'm talking about. Go Sox. Go Flev. Do you need to do the face when you do the Boston accent? Yeah, you got it. Because no, this not. is the way that it is, you know? <laughs> is that how everyone in Boston looks? No. Because there's like a cute Boston accent, too. What is it? doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I, read it, I always read it on the list of the ugliest accents and I'm like oh, I can't deny it that is right uh, Flav thanks for being a patron man and thanks for dorning it up with us is that your name yeah I'm ready to I'm ready yeah to you're ready to go oh my I'm god did you just yawn.com yeah I did I'm ready to eat my link was in pizza you gotta pack <laughs> yeah okay yeah my final destination has come and so is yours to an end we will see you guys for the fifth one at some point until then like comment subscribe all that good good thanks for sitting through this one with us and we'll see you next time mm-hmm.